What's up guys, Mehran is back with another color grading tutorial. This time, as you requested, I'm going to do the color grading on this cinematic guitar video which you requested. This was not a really complicated look, but as you guys said, I decided to make a tutorial about it. It's not really complicated, it's really easy. We are not using any parallel mixer or layer mixer node. It's just easy color grading, so it is beginner friendly. So, let's jump into the DaVinci resolve and start the tutorial. So as you see here I have imported the footage into the project and I have created the notes to save time. We have noise reduction, we have HDR notes, we have the conversion for color space transform, we have lift gamma and gain, we have the skin note to fix the skin, we have the look adjustment and we have the vignette and outside note and we have a power window here and grain and then a sat, a sat versus sat. So let's start with the conversion note. As, as I uh, do this in all my color gradings, I'm going to convert this. This is the HLG3 uh, shot. So we are going to convert the color space and the, and the gamma. If you like to know more about this process, please watch my past videos. I always do this. Uh, so I'm not going deep into the, the explanations here. And we are going to select the gamma. It, was, it is a REC 21000 HLG and then go to the output color space and select the REC 709 and for the output gamma I use the Sinyan film lock uh, because it gives it some uh, flat look and in my opinion it is better for color grading and then we go to the lift and gamma and gain for the lift and gamma and gain uh, I'm going to uh, decrease the offset let me open the waveform here uh, in my opinion it is really bright so I'm going to decrease the offset and then I will uh, start by giving it some contrast in the lift. Let me first decrease the offset here. And now I'm going to give it some contrast by, uh, adding, by decreasing the lift, as you see. I'm decreasing the lift. And uh, now it is uh, a little bit dark, so I'm going to uh, brighten the midtones. I'm going to add to the gamma to make it brighter. Now we have lost the contrast once again. You need to play with these wheels, uh, it is really easy, not a complicated process to achieve your desired results and I'm going to add some contrast and then I'm going to add gain to give it some pop in the highlight section. So I'm adding gain, it depends on you whether you want this uh, much bright and give it a vibrant look or you want a cinematic moody look so you keep the gain low. It depends on what you want to achieve uh, with this shot. I'm going to give it much more gain here and now for the temperature I'm going to make it a little bit cooler to make it somehow neutral and then I will add some saturation uh, I think 60 is enough and then I will go to the log wheels to add some more contrast to the black areas as you see to the bottom dark areas to more black areas and it makes the contrast uh, it uh, give it some pop to the blacks and as you see it is much better we can have a darker blacks to more true blacks so here uh, we are done with the lift and gamma and gain now uh, let me explain the HDR note uh, if I show you the uh, wider focal lens, focal lens of this uh, video shoot. Let me co copy the color grade here. We have some blown away highlights here. So I created the HDR notes in order to decrease the brightness of these highlights. In order to do this, we go to the HDR note and I will here we have a range. I want to decrease the brightness of these uh, top highlights. So we are going to increase this range for the uh, top highlights and then I will decrease the highlight. As you see, if I decrease it, you see that we are compressing and um, darkening those highlights uh, because the HLG tree doesn't have a beautiful highlight roll off like the S log tree. So I do this in order to make my highlights more cinematic, as you see here. So we are we have done this, and now it looks uh, much more cinematic in my opinion. Uh, it, it's not important in this shot, but again, I co copy this. Uh, so I just wanted to explain this in this shot. Now let's keep on going. And now we go to the skin note. Now let's check the skin. Let me zoom on the skin. As, as you see here, uh, it has a little bit of magenta cast in the skin and it's not correct. Uh, let me select the qualifier and select the skin. 
if I select the skin here and we let's fine tune the hue and saturation to <clears throat> better select the skin and play with the saturation we just want to mostly target the skin and let me play with the brightness there are some parts here in the nose which are not selected now I think it's a good selection we have here and now let's uh, play with this uh, to fine-tune it and clean the whites and blacks and also give it some blur not so much and then let me <clears throat> disable this preview and let me go to vector scope to show you the skin indicator if we check it it's a little bit off as I said so I'm going to decrease the hue in order to make this on to match the skin indicator I will park it on 47 and as you see uh, it's now much more balanced the skin if we check it sorry if I enable and disable this you will see it was really uh, magenta and now it's uh, much more balanced if you see but I think we can go on uh, 47.5 I think now it's uh, really good if you check the skin indicator again I think we can also go on 48 it, uh, it is good in my opinion and we can proceed uh, to the ne next step which is the look adjustment so we go to the look adjustment now I'm going to use the primaries and color bars in order to give it some tones and give it some basic color grading it's not really complicated here we are not using any parallel mixer or layer mixer and we have done a simple job in this uh, video and now let's uh, play with the gamma I want to give it some uh, somehow a warm look and I'm going to <clears throat> play uh, start with the gamma I want to decrease the reds I see a little bit of reds here so I'm uh, decreasing the reds and then I want to add some decrease some also some greens from this shot to give it some magenta not so much uh, and then uh, we see a little a little bit of blue but I want this shot as I said to be a little bit warmer so I want to decrease the blues as you see by decreasing the blues you make this shot much more warmer and you can uh, keep on going depending on how much do you want this look to be strong but um, it depends on you and then uh, we can play with the lift uh, to fine-tune the shadows for the shadows I want to again decrease a little bit of the reds and also decrease the greens and I will also add some uh, yellow to the shadows and as you see I'm decreasing the shadows to minus two it's now much more warmer now let's play with the gain to balance this uh, for the top uh, and bright parts and for the gain I'm going to add blue in order to make a, a tonal contrast here I'm adding blue as you see by adding blue I'm just doing this to show you how it affects uh, so as you see if I increase the blue we are going to create a tonal contrast between the midtones shadows and the highlights I added blue and then I will decrease the red as you see here now if you check this we gave this a little bit of uh, warmness not so much this is not a really uh, powerful and, and not a powerful grade it's just a neutral somehow look I didn't go really deep into this uh, and really intense on this color grading and I like it uh, to be this uh, simple for this uh, guitar uh, video and after the look adjustment I will go to the vignette note for the vignette I will create a, a power window as you see here I'm adding so much softness and I will invert this and then I'm going to the curves and add vignette to the outside it brings much more attention to the subject and for the outside node we are going to increase the curves bring up the curves to add much more pop as you see it brings much more pop to the subject and if I 
enable and disable both of them as you see it makes a huge difference so and for the power window again i use the power window more for the wider shot and but i'm going to use it again here to show you i'm going to create a gradient here and i will rotate it and let me check this i'm going to make this really soft let me close this I want to make this part darker to bring more attention to the subject as you see if I make this part darker let me open the power window here and as you see again this brings much more attention to the subject if you check all of them this brings much more attention to the subject if you check it which makes a huge difference now uh, i forgot to add another node here let me add another node i want to add blur uh, let me show you what this does sorry and uh, blur for the blur again i'm going to create a power window here i'm going to select the subject and i'm going to add it so much uh, softness and as I said, I'm going to select the subject and then I'm going to invert this. Be sure that you are not selecting the subject so much. I want to blur the environment. You can do this if you are uh, using your camera on a tripod. Uh, you cannot uh, uh, use this uh, for the moving shots. I'm going to use this technique here because my camera is on a, tr on a tripod. And then we are going to the blur. And I'm going to add a little bit of blur to the environment. And if you see, if I check this, it makes the background more blurrier. If I show you, sorry, if I should have uh, gone up instead of down. You should uh, add blur. And as you see, it makes the background more blurrier. It gives a more dreamy look to your video, which is really nice. You, but please check that your subject is it's not affecting your subject because we had it we added so many softness here it's not really selecting the subject so it's okay you can again increase the size to be sure that your subject is pretty sharp and you are not blurring the subject again let's check it the blur you see it is really dreamy it gives the look of a 1.4 sigma lens i didn't have a sigma lens here but now with this uh, editing i'm adding so many blur and it makes the shot more dreamier it's a it has selected a little bit of the guitar but again you can play with the power window if you do not want this to happen now after that uh, i'm adding some grain to the shot you can do this or you cannot but i prefer adding grain uh, so I'm adding film grain here. Sorry, I should select this part. And add grain. I will add a 35 millimeter grain. And as you see, if I check this, it makes so much difference. It gives character to, the, to your film. And after that, in the last uh, sequence, I want to uh, play with the sat versus sat. Uh, what this does is that it uh, <clears throat> decreases the saturation of the saturated parts. For example, there are some parts in the video which are really saturated. For example, the guitar, his, her nails, and these are the really saturated parts. So I want to decrease the saturations here. So I will decrease this. As you see, this does make so much difference. It uh, makes oh, the colors in the video more... Uh, uh, similar to each other and we do not have any more uh, really saturated colors which is really important this mostly happens in HLG footages uh, it's I don't know why it uh, really saturates the red parts of the uh, video but you have to do this in order to fix it and also I feel that the overall shot is a little bit really saturated in my taste so I will also decrease the saturation here to 47 48 and as you see here now it, it, i think it's uh, much more balanced and if i do a before and after 
you will see that how far we came and I think now it is really uh, good and it is really dreamy I added more blur here uh, uh, compared to my first color grading which I posted in my channel and now it's I think it's more dreamy and here is the final result let's check it once again and see what we achieved So as I said, it was really easy and it was not complicated, but again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment sections. I would be really glad to answer them and I will be seeing you in my future videos. Goodbye.